So in this problem, again, we're going to take a look at two uh, problems out here, and these two problems are on dilutions, okay? So when you look at problems in dilutions, you need to be aware of a particular dilution formula. You're always going to be given two solutions, solution A and solution B, and one of these solutions is more concentrated than the other. So let's say solution A is more concentrated than B. It could be the opposite, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and solution A, let's say, has a molarity of M1 and, and a volume of V1. And solution B, let's say, has a molarity of M2 and a volume of V2. What's important to understand is that when you take solution A and you dilute it to make solution B, the number of moles are constant, okay? And because of that, you can use this formula if you just take M1 and V1 and you multiply them together and you equate that to M2 and V2, multiply them together. Then if you know three of these quantities, any three, then you can solve for the fourth. So let's just go ahead and use that in the first problem out here. So the question is, to what volume in milliliters should you dilute 100 ml of 5 molar CaCl2 solution to obtain a 0 0.750 molar CaCl2 solution, okay? So we're going to say M1 is equal to 5.00 molar. That's your first molarity. The volume that corresponds to it is 100.00 100 ml. So, V1 is equal to 100.0 ml, and then it's being diluted. So, the second molarity is actually 0 0.750 molar, and you have to find out what volume that is, that corresponds to. So, using this formula, we have M1, V1. We'll just go ahead and write out the formula first. M1, V1 is equal to M2. V2, and then let's go ahead and rearrange it to isolate V2. So when we do that, we get V2 is equal to M1 V1 over M2. Now let's just plug in the quantities and see what we get. So that's going to be 5.00 M times 100.0 ml over 0 0.750 M. And that gives us 667 liters, uh, sorry, milliliters. There you have it. Let's do another one out here. Similar logic. So out here, M1 is equal to 6.00 molar. That's the NiNO3. We don't know what the volume of that corresponds to. That's what the question is asking us. So V1 is equal to question mark. M2 is actually 1.20 molar. And V2 is 0.525 liters. Okay, let's write down The relationship and then let's go ahead and rearrange to isolate v1 so we get v1 is equal to m2 v2 over m1 now let's go ahead and plug in the quantities so that's 1.20 molar times 0.525 liters over m1 is 6.00 molar solving that we get 0.105 liters that is the answer.